bit. Uh, Kunal Vora, who's the head India equity research at BNP Paribas, joins in now. They've written a report where they retain their cautious view on Indian equities. They say that the lag effect of interest rate hikes should weigh on global growth, even as the worst of the inflation seems behind. And China's reopening and an increase in term deposit rates are likely to impact the flows into Indian equities. Uh, Kunal, good morning. That seems to be the narrative playing out that uh, since China has reopened and perhaps valuations look attractive, a lot of money will move out of India and into China. If that is your base case, what kind of move do you see on the Indian markets through the course of the next year? <clears throat> thanks thanks for having me on the show, Sponia. Uh, our view on the market uh, is cautious. Uh, various factors, couple of factors which you already highlighted, that uh, you have uh, had like period of high inflation and uh, that resulted in like, large uh, rate hikes and that's uh, likely to slow down the global growth rate. On flows picture, we believe that as China reopens, uh, there will be some reallocations which will happen. Uh, even domestic flows, we have certain concerns. Uh, we had very strong domestic flows over the last... Uh, couple of years uh, and that's partially because of very low FT rates and equities offering much better returns compared to bonds. Some of that is changing now. Uh, banks have been rising, like raising term deposit rates. There has been a sharp increase and uh, that will start like, re like resulting in some reallocation. Uh, besides that, on earnings as well, we believe that the street is fairly optimistic. Uh, if I look at, uh, we were looking at about 21 sectors and across the sectors, uh, Street expectation right now is there will be margin improvement in FY24 and a further margin improvement in FY25. I mean, that looks a little optimistic to us. Uh, that results in about 16% earnings kicker. And final point on valuations. Again, valuations, a uh, couple of metrics. If I look at India compared to its history, historical average is about 16x. We are currently trading at about 19x. If I look at Indian P valuation premium compared to Asia X Japan peers, that's also at elevated levels. And uh, finally, on bond deal earning yield gap, that's something which we track very closely. The current gap is about 200 bips. Uh, whenever you had this level of elevated gap between bond deals and earnings yield, bonds become attractive and uh, typically equities offer a negative returns in the forward one year. We've seen that happening in 2010, 2014, 2018. So our view is that uh, while it, it might not be a year of negative returns, uh, it will be a year of single digit returns. Our tar nifty target is about 19 to 250. Okay. Mm, all right. Uh, Kunal, uh, let's get to your, I mean, I'm sure you looked at the numbers which are starting to come through, uh, you know, uh, consumer names, basically. Uh, Asian Pains reported, uh, there was a Miss Havels has reported, uh, there's Polycab, which I think was a little better, uh, Lever is reported. What is the sense you're getting about uh, the strength of the consumer? Uh, is there, are, are they worried, does this kind of uh, tell you that there is the slowdown is perhaps they're getting a little entrenched? So last year, we were recommending the affluent India theme to the investors. And we were, uh, rural India was up slow, and that remained the case throughout the last one year. What we are now starting to see is the affluent India market or the consumer discretionary market that's starting to show signs of slowdown. You've seen that happening in the paints numbers, you have seen that happening in jewelry, in consumer durables also, the pent up demand seems to have got played out. Now, what we see is incrementally, rural India seems to be making a comeback. Uh, so far, Whatever commentary we've seen from uh, a few companies which have reported, uh, that doesn't really indicate the improvement has already happened. But uh, if I look at the way agro commodity prices are moving right now, uh, wheat, paddy, milk, all of them are in double digits. Uh, the general inflation has moderated. Combination of these factors do like make us believe, plus the low base, make us believe that rural India will start making a comeback. Having said that, we still have an underweight on consumer staples as a whole. Our main concern remains valuation. These uh, Many of these stocks have seen uh, moderation in their earnings growth over the last decade. Revenue growth is coming below normal GDP growth rate. Despite that, the valuation multiples have expanded very, very significantly. They are all trading at like at least 70-80% premium compared to what they were trading at a decade back. And that's where our concern comes from. Hmm. Uh, Kunal, you know, it's a very good report and of course we will talk to you at length about it. But for now, we are heading into the pre-opening for the market. So uh, thank you for joining us and giving us a quick take on uh, your report. So that's the word coming in from BNP Parba. Uh, just to tell you guys, they 